This attitude of mine shows up in my recent novel, A Scanner Darkly, where uh, a narcotics agent winds up reporting on himself, turning over information on himself to, to his higher-ups. The uh, paranoia of the Nixon period was so great uh, by the government and also by the counterculture, the Berkeley people. Anybody like me who grew up and, and, and was part of the Berkeley counterculture became a marked man during the Nixon administration. A Skinner Darkly came from his uh, difficulties in his own life and his friends and family. The paranoia that they feel is that similar to the paranoia a lot of people are starting to feel just if you can't speak out, it seems even more important and relevant today than when we started um, in lieu of the current headlines, the administration and, and the surveillance that's sort of being carried out now. It is impossible to tell how much of our fears were justified. I mean, there were illegal entries. My, my house was broken into, my files were blown open, my, my papers were stolen. We never found out who did it. My attorney said it was the government. There was no doubt that it was the government. But what they were looking for, I don't know. What they thought I was doing, I don't know. I don't even know if it was the government. But um, there were many such illegal entries. And uh, an experience like that tends to make you very paranoid, you know, that you are suspected of some crime. I think he was able to, to get his ideas across through through the genre of science fiction. Um, but I think it took him a long time to come to terms with, uh, with being in a genre that wasn't necessarily the most respected. The uh, position which writers such as myself hold in America are, those positions are very lowly. Uh, science fiction is considered to be something for adolescents, for just um, high school kids and for disturbed people in general to read in America. I guess we're officially in the genre of science fiction, but it didn't feel that way to me. It felt very contemporary and very uh, real world. So we are limited in our writing to books which have no sex, no violence, and no deep ideas just something of an adventure kind of nature, what we call space opera, which is just westerns set in the future. It doesn't really fit within the genre of the sort of Hollywood sci-fi spectacular. I felt like I had Phil K. Dick, his family, and then however many, I don't know how many million of fans out there who kind of feel a special relation, not only to him, but maybe this particular work, you feel like you have this weight on you that is, I felt great about it because I thought, you know, it's a little daunting, but I also felt like I was up for that challenge and I, I didn't think they would be disappointed at the end of the day. I think the screenplay's great, yeah, I do. I think I think the, the essence of, of the story is there. Um, a lot of the dialogue is there, which is great. There was a lot, there's a lot of humor in the book. I mean, there's some, some sadness and some pain. There's also a lot of humor, and he's kept a lot of that, that great dialogue and humor between the characters.